really crazy to think that Christmas season is here. I mean, we wait all year long and then boom, it's here with all its sparkle and fuzzy warm feelings. Oh, and don't forget, Mr. Christmas. Who would have known the Michael like Christmas so much? Hey, Christmas people! Christmas people? Is that our new nickname? Yeah! Ah! You are the people of Christmas in the season, so therefore it is the Christmas people. But we have a lot to do, so let's not get ahead of ourselves. It's only Tuesday, and we gotta get ready for the, uh... Yes, yes, we know the countdown, countdown to, to Christmas. Christmas. Wait, we said that I kinda sad. We did. Why did we? Mm -hmm. Yeah! Countdown to Christmas! hey -o! All right, people, how are we doing with our memory verse? Welp, Mr. Christmas is going to be crushed because the memory verse is not sticking in my memory. It's like a forget -a verse at this point. Good, good, really good. <laughs> wonderful, and how's it going with our pajamas? Are we getting ready for our wonderful, exclusive Christmas pajama party? OMG, I'm super excited. It's my first year at the Cozy Cottage and it's their first time doing Christmas pajama jam. Ah! Victoria and I are working on a DIY. Yep, lots of sewing and glue guns. Perfect! Ooh, and don't forget to order the gifts for the local preschool. I'm on it. hey -o. I really love online shopping. Like, really, really. <laughs> hey, guys. Hey. 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 Have you noticed how gloomy it is outside? I mean, this must be the altitude making the clouds really thick up here. Regardless, guess what I bought? What? I bought the gingerbread house <gasps> making stuff. Yes. Yeah, give me, give me, give me. Wait, do you think there'll be a blizzard today? Nah, that's just some typical altitude overcasting. Wow, she knows a lot about meteorology. Who knew? I am pretty sure I just made up that word. Oh well. Hey guys, I'm gonna meet up with Chris to get the last Christmas trees from the Christmas tree farm. Who's in? hey -o. Our neighbors couldn't afford one this year, so we all pitched in and bought one for their family. Christmas is truly a time of giving. Hard pass. I draw the line at snow, as long as I'm staying indoors with my cozy socks and a cup of hot cocoa, I'm perfectly fine. We know, Victoria, you like to stay cozy. Oh, you guys know me so well. Yes, yes, I was thinking more like Vera, Kelly, Gabby, huh, 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 Christmas tree? Mm-mm, Christmas tree. Okay, well, I guess it's just Chris and I. See you guys later. Bye. Bye. Tell Chris we say hi. All right, ladies, come over. It is gingerbread house making time. Yeah, let's go. Seriously, the cozy cottage, it's the best. Why don't we stay here all year round? The gingerbread house making, this is amazing. You know, one of my favorite things about Christmas is to make gingerbread houses. Michael loves to make gingerbread houses. He's gonna wanna make one for sure when he gets back. Yeah, well, Gabby, what's your favorite thing about Christmas? Um, I think it's the waiting for Christmas. The anticipation and excitement and just counting down to Christmas makes it so special. I love opening up presents. Waiting around? Who wants to wait around? Guys, isn't it incredible that people waited so long for Jesus to be born? What do you mean, Kelly? Well, back then, God spoke to people through a prophet named Isaiah, and he said that Jesus, the savior of the world, was gonna be born. And from that time, he delivered the message. People waited thousands of years. Hmm. Thousands of years? People don't live that long. So that must have meant people died waiting for Jesus to be born. Wild! The people must have wondered what God was doing or if he was still even working. Yep, they didn't believe it was gonna happen at all. But then an angel appeared to Mary and Joseph and told them that they were gonna have a baby and that that baby was gonna be the savior of the world. Mary and Joseph knew that God was answering prayers from a long time ago, like thousands of years ago. OMG, guys, do you think that Mary and Joseph were scared? Oh, for sure. And they were probably nervous as well, but ultimately they knew that God was with them. Hmm. It's pretty cool that another name for Jesus is Emmanuel, which means God with us. <gasps> All done! My God! Chris, come look! Where are they? Oh wait, they went to go get some Christmas treats. Oh, that's oh, right. right. Oh, Michael, it's getting really dark out here. Yeah, but remember, it's because of what Vera said, the altitude coverage. My Michael, Vera has no idea what she's talking about. That doesn't exist. What? What do you mean, Chris? 
I mean, it's going to snow really, really bad. Chris, we are miles away from the car. Why does this happen to us? Why does it always happen to us? Um, guys, should we check on Michael and Chris? It's getting late. Nah, they're fine. And they probably don't even have cell service where they're at. Um, okay, but it looks like it's starting to storm. No, it's not. Yes, I mean, it is. Guys, look. Oh. Oh. Um, I hope they get back safely. Oh. Oh. Guys, the power went out. We're gonna die out here, Michael. Chris, we are not going to die. Pull yourself together. All we have to do is gotta, we gotta make it back to the car. That's it. Yeah, all right. It's, it's that way. I'm, I'm pretty sure. Let's go. You know, let's, let's go. go. Let's go. The pool is about to get so cold in here, but I am so glad we found these cozy blankets. Mm -hmm. I know. And good thing that God is with us because I would be freaking out. Yeah. It's nice to have God with us, but why did Jesus have to be born in order for God to be with us? Couldn't he just be with us always? Well, actually, I think I have the perfect video that explains just that. And I have enough battery on my phone to watch. Right, okay. Hey, what is going on, CF Kids? Thank you so much for joining us today as we are in a series called Countdown to Christmas. Whoever, I know you guys are excited for Christmas. I'm excited for Christmas. It's gonna be an amazing time. Today we have something special for you guys to listen to when it comes to the Word of God. But really quick, I wanna open up sharing a story of my childhood because if you were like me, you absolutely love playing outside or playing sports in general, right? Maybe that's you, wherever campus you're watching from or even online. I love playing outside in my neighborhood because we would always play all types of sports with the other neighborhoods around us, right? And so we would play basketball, we would play football, we would play baseball. You name the sport, we were playing it. I was athletic to say the least. I'm not trying to give myself a pat on the back, but you feel me? But man, we had a friend in our friend group that would play football, basketball, and all. His name was Emmanuel. Now, we would call him E-Man. So if your name is Emmanuel, what a crazy nickname. That's a nickname that is like one of the best in the world, E-Man. So E-Man was our friend. He was a part of our, our, our team. Now, E-Man was the best athlete. He would jump the highest. He would run the fastest. He would never drop the ball. If we were playing basketball, this dude would throw it up from the three. You would think he's Steph Curry. I'm telling you, dude was awesome. So E-Man was on our team. And we would already celebrate before we would play the other teams because E-Man was on our team. He was with us. He was on our team. Now the other teams, they would always talk smack, right? They were like, oh, we're gonna beat you, whether it was football, basketball, didn't matter. Like, we're gonna beat you guys, we're gonna do this. Until the day came that we played and they saw how great E-Man was. We would throw the ball, he would catch it. Even they were mesmerized. They're like, oh my goodness, how is he catching this football? What kind of offense does he have on basketball? He would do crazy layups, spinning backwards, under the legs, doing all types of things. Super athletic, E-Man was the best. Best athlete I've ever seen, even till this day probably, right? And that was my friend. But we would always laugh when the teams would talk smack the day before and they're like, oh, we're gonna beat you, we're gonna do this. We would stay quiet because we knew we had E-Man and E-Man was with us. He was on our team and he was the best of the best. Now, why do I say that? I need everybody, if you're watching right now, I need you to put your thinking caps on, right? Because we're gonna read a passage today. As we get closer and closer to Christmas, we're gonna see why we celebrate Christmas. What's super important about Christmas? So if you have your Bibles, we're gonna be in Matthew chapter one, starting at verse 22 and verse 23. Now this is what the Word of God says. It says this, all this took place to bring about what the Lord had said would happen. He had said that the prophet, the virgin is going to have a baby, that's Jesus. She will give birth to a son and he will be called Emmanuel. The name Emmanuel means God is with us. Now God is with us. When we think about the Christmas season, obviously our minds probably go to a great Christmas tree or presents and gifts under the tree and how, uh, 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 lights all over the, the, the house. But in reality, we celebrate because God is with us. Jesus is with us. Matter of fact, I love that statement because you can make it personal. I can say, God is with Alex. You can say, God is with, and put your name in it. It's a very personal statement. Like as Christmas comes, we realize that God is with us everywhere we go, no matter what you're going through in your life, CF kids, second grade, third grade, whatever test you might be having, whatever it is, God is with you. Matter of fact, at all of our campuses, I want you to do this, even online. We're gonna say God is with, and you put your name in it. 
fill in your name so you can feel how personal it is. Like I say, God is with Alex. So right there where you're at, scream your name as loud as you can. God is with, that's right. There you go, say your name. Let's do it again, louder, louder this time. God is with, there you go. God is with you. God is with me. God is with us in this Christmas season. And we can celebrate the same way we celebrated because E-Man was on our team, because we knew we were gonna win. Same way we can celebrate Christmas because God is with us and God is for us in this Christmas season. That's why we celebrate. Matter of fact, it's one thing to think about it and always know, oh, God is with us. But what we're gonna do, it's another thing to see it all the time. And we're gonna give out these bracelets right there where you're at. We're gonna give out these bracelets. So not only do you know that God is with you, but every time you put that bracelet on, you can see every day, no matter what you're going through, that God is with you, He is for you, and He'll never leave you. God is with us. And speaking of giveaways, I'm gonna announce something crazy right now, because I'm super excited. Christmas is around the corner, and I thought to myself, what if we do something big? And so we're gonna give away a Nintendo Switch after Christmas. That's right, one big Nintendo Switch at all of our campuses, and this is how you enter your name into the raffle. You have to, from this Sunday, you have to come to every Sunday, including Christmas Eve. That means if next Sunday, your mom and dad is sleeping on the bed and they're like, we're not gonna go to church today. You better go and wake them up and say, no, 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 no. I gotta go to church, mom, because I need to put my name in the attendance so I can be in the raffle to win a Nintendo Switch. And we're gonna say the announcement at the end of Christmas. So make sure you come, not only today, right? but next Sunday and the following Sunday so your name can be entered into a raffle to win a Nintendo Switch, all right? So if you're excited, look at your neighbor and say, I'm excited. That's right, I'm excited. So with that being said, I love you guys. God bless you. Have a great Sunday. <laughs> we're gonna die out here. Um, we might. I have no idea where we're going. <laughs> I mean, Chris, Chris, Chris. It's Christmas, right? Mm -hmm. And what is Christmas all about? Jesus? Yes! And, and although we are freezing and it's really cold, it's what, really is, uh, what is Christmas all about? It's Jesus, and Jesus is, is with us in Christmas, right? Mm -hmm. And if Jesus is with us, that means we're gonna be okay. Mm -hmm. Now, c come on, let's keep walking. I'm pretty sure the car is just up ahead. Wow, if I would have seen an angel, I wouldn't have believed my eyes. I know, and what's even more incredible is that God would love us that much to send his son Jesus to die for us, for you, for me. Yes, well, ultimately he knew that our sin was going to separate us from God and that we would not be able to be in eternity with him. Yep, and that's why we celebrate, because God is with you. Yay, the power is back on. <sighs> Wait, where's Victoria? Oh, uh, um, Victoria. Victoria. Victoria? Victoria? So weird. Don't worry, Chris. Michael, I'm coming for you. Did you hear that? Yeah. This is my pie. He's screaming from the cold. No, Chris. Wait, listen. Hey, guys. Hey, <gasps> Victoria. But you hate the snow. Yeah. Well, yeah. I had to come and get you guys, though. Guys, I was listening to the Bible story of how God sent His Son Jesus to save us from our sins, and how we should celebrate that Jesus is with us. That's when I felt it in my spirit to come looking for Chris and Michael. Victoria, I thought we were gonna die. Well, Chris, not today. Luckily, you guys were only a few feet away from the car. What? Yeah, look, see? Hallelujah, we gotta live. You mean we were that close this whole time? Yeah. Emotional damage. Thank God, that was crazy. I can't believe Victoria will come out there to find us. I mean, she hates the cold. I'm thankful for you, Victoria. That was a lot of fun. Yeah, I know, but my knee's collapsing. <laughs> Guys, oh, hey, guys, you're back. Victoria, where did you go? Well, I had to go find Michael and Chris. You know, after the Bible story, it had me thinking how God loves us so much that he sent his only son for us. Ultimately, Jesus would die for our sins, which had separated us from God but now we are able to be with God forever. And that's why we celebrate Christmas, because God is with us. 
Chris, Michael. Come look at our gingerbread houses. They came out so cute. Come well, well, make one. Well, except for mine. <laughs> I'm eating it. Yeah. I like that. Get ready to count down to Christmas Eve with our special advent calendar made just for you and your family. Packed with fun activities, Bible verses, links to bonus videos, and a memory verse challenge that you can follow daily. It's the perfect way to celebrate the season together. And at the end, join us for a special CF Kids Christmas Eve service to receive a special gift. Start a new tradition this year and prepare your hearts for Christmas Day. Guess what, everyone? It's almost time for Christmas, Christmas Pajama, Pajama Jam. Jam! That's right. On December 15th, you can roll into church in your favorite Christmas PJs. Imagine a day packed with awesome games, worship with friends, and of course, yummy treats. Yes, but here's the best part. We're not just having fun. We're learning the real reason we celebrate Christmas. Yep, so if you love Christmas, love fun, and love tasty snacks, then Christmas Pajama Jam is the place to be. Don't miss out on this epic holiday party, December 15th at all our services. Be there in your cozy Christmas PJs. See, See you at Christmas, Christmas Pajama Jam. Pajama Jam.